everyone and welcome back to my nursery and welcome if you are new here. Hey everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the nursery so I can continue to bring you content. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And today I'm coming at you with a topic that's very hot in the reborn community right now. And I just want to introduce a new little baby that I've created. And this is the bee kit by Judy Jacobson. And this little baby brought up this topic for my channel. Um, there are a lot of artists right now that are no longer doing customs. So B was a custom. I do not normally do customs and I'll tell you why and why a lot of other artists are not doing customs any longer. But um, this was for a special friend of mine and um, Shirley requested this kit and she wanted him to have brown painted hair and big blue eyes. So I just finished him today and I'm just doing some photos for his new mama and I will be mailing him out on Monday to his mom to go home. And he brought up this topic of why um, artists don't do customs. So I get a lot of questions. A lot of people want to know if I can make a baby for them and they would really like me to do a custom kit for them. And I would really love to, but um, doing customs can be extremely stressful. Um, there are, <laughs> should I say, customers can be a little difficult to work with. And that is not any stretch <laughs> when I say that, like very difficult to work with. Um, and I get that, that the doll is expensive and it, you know, some people are very picky and you're paying a lot of money and you want it done just so, but um, it can just stress an artist out to the point, like if they're doing 10 customs, I can't even imagine having to deal with that. And a lot of people get into customs because it's an easy, quick way to make money and um, they can just fill in, you know, a list of people. They can make a, a waiting list and um, they can just do those customs as they go along. But, and this lady I've worked with before, she's very sweet, very laid back. Um, one of my biggest reasons why I don't wanna do customs is because I like to have artistic freedom. I wanna make the kits that I wanna make. I wanna make them however I see them and envision them um, coming to life. And um, you don't get that freedom. It can be just a very monotonous, boring job when you're doing the same kits over and over again for people. You're doing them the way that they want you to do them and not the way that you would want to paint them or how you envision them and see them coming to life. So I'm also doing this video too for Miss Shirley because as you all know, my computer has crashed and I'm waiting on a new computer to come in and um, I can't really download my photo shoots for her. So I've sent her some pictures on my phone, which is fine, but I also wanted to kind of make a little video for her too before this little boy goes home, um, just to show off his details in case anybody else is interested in this little kit. Um, and I just think he's adorable. I wanna do some details on him and just kind of show him off. Um, I love his little blue eyes and his beautiful little smile. He is so cute, you guys. Um, I've kind of fallen in love with him and she really wanted him to be um, a bigger baby. She got a preemie last time. She actually purchased a baby from my personal collection and that baby was on the smaller side, but her daughter seemed to like really love that. Um, I think she fell in love with that baby. And she just really wanted a little boy of her own that was much bigger. And I will say this baby wears um, zero to three month clothes. Um, he is very poseable <laughs> because he has three fourths limbs. I usually make full limbed babies, but I do like it with the three fourth limbs babies because you can move them any which way you want to. So he's super gonna be fun for photos. He's really cute. Um, this also does make him quite floppy and she really wanted the head to be floppy. So um, this baby definitely needs a supported head because his head kind of is very floppy. Um, I made it heavier and did not put as much stuffing in the back. So um, she did request a floppy head. She has that, this baby's, <laughs> Shirley, your baby's floppy <laughs> and he's very heavy, he's weighted really well. So be careful with him. 
you know, support that head. You don't want his head falling off. Um, Shirley does have a problem with one of her babies <laughs> and the head. So Shirley, I'm going to send you a little zip tie for him, um, for your other baby that you're having an issue with, um, with the head coming off. So, um, I do have a video out there that does show how to repair a baby, but, um, I absolutely love his size. I love that he wears zero to three month clothes perfectly and he can take a modified pacifier. So you can do modified pacifiers on this kit. And I did put a magnet in him. So he's taking um, a magnetic passy. When his head is straight, it goes straight. But if you turn it, his passy is gonna try to fall out of its mouth. But um, just wanna do a little bit of details on him. These are his beautiful little hands and his little tipped fingernails. I did some veining in his hands and arms. I do lots of veining in my baby's limbs and um, I do modeling too. So I really like that. I like a lot of blush on my babies as well. Um, I'm a big fan of blushing. Um, he does have painted hair. So you can see his painted hair here. Um, and that was her request for brown hair and blue eyes. I let her pick the kit and the color of the hair and eyes and he is just too stinking adorable. So um, I'm gonna kind of show off his body. The only thing about this kit is if you guys order this kit from McPherson's, the one thing is, is it does come with a Dosway body for this kit, but the body is white. Um, this is his like little onesie. And as you can see, he has the three fourth limbs and the body is white and that's okay. I've had babies with white bodies um, before, not a big deal. Um, you can buy a doe suede body somewhere else in skin tone and you can change it out. It's not very hard. Um, I put a little honest diaper on him, but yeah, his, his body is a white body. So be prepared for that. Also, the body has ties. I do not like ties on my babies. I don't like to do the um, string ties. This had string ties and I hate that. Um, but I changed it out to zip ties because I do not like strings hanging from my babies. I just don't like it. It's not realistic. Um, <laughs> there it goes his feet. Um, so as you can see with the three force limbs, it gives it the ability to move because these are jointed limbs. I do like three force limbs because of this. It makes his baby very poseable and very floppy. He can put his legs out, he can cross his legs, he can put his legs up and down. And same with the arms. The arms will go any which way you want them and they'll stay that way. So I really do love that about it. And I just wanna show off his cute little tootsies too. He has the cutest little feet. I really enjoyed making this baby. Um, that was another thing is she, when she showed me the kit that she wanted, I couldn't say no. I've never seen this kit before and I couldn't say no to that little face. I was like, oh yeah, I have to definitely do this baby and why not if she's going to pay to have the kit sent to me and let me have pretty much total artistic freedom on him. Um, yeah, so I was able to pretty much do whatever I wanted with him, which made it really fun. So I really enjoyed working with her. Um, we did a payment arrangement. She was able to just make payments as um, I went along in the process of making him. And it's just absolutely perfect. She has one last payment on him that she's gonna pay and then he'll go home. Um, but we were waiting until I finished him so she could see the finished product first. I don't want somebody totally paying a baby off and sending it until they've seen pictures of the baby and videos and stuff like that. So I am making this video just for her and um, I can post this on my YouTube channel really quick for her to view and just send her the link since um, I'm having technical difficulties in my nursery. <laughs> I'm figuring out other ways to do stuff, but still having some serious like technical difficulties. <laughs> Um, Apple did tell me that my computer is on the way and they're saying it should be here um, Monday. So supposedly I will have it in a couple of days. Um, he is gonna go home in this outfit because this is the only zero to three month clothes I had for a baby boy. And this little blanket has a cute little fox on it. And um, so I thought that was really cute to put with him too. And I have this adorable, um, 
because you know this little blanket has all kinds of little animals on it and this has little monkeys on the little pacifier and it matches with the lime green and I think I'm going to match up a bottle to this too that matches the pacifier so his little ensemble should all kind of like fit together but um, I'm not sending this home sorry Shirley this is my rattle and um, you can get this on Amazon though it's by Chingo brand and they do have these for like $15 on Amazon. So if anybody's looking for this, I get a lot of questions about my Fox stuff. This is um, one of my items for, it's like a photo prop for me. I use this in a lot of my photos. So that stays with me. If I can find a little Fox lovey or something for him, I'll try to send something home with him that matches this cute little blanket. I'll figure out something, but um, anyway, just thought I would show off these sweet little details of this baby and his sweet little smile. I just cannot resist. He actually reminds me like his face and his smile reminds me a little bit of Shaya. Um, if everybody remembers my little blonde haired baby Shaya, um, this little baby boy's face reminds me a lot of her. Um, I do have his eyes kind of going off to the side. So, um, you definitely, when you're putting in eyes and I'll go over that on how to make a reborn baby. I'm gonna do a series like step by step, but when you're putting in eyes, if you can kind of have the baby looking um, in a certain direction, it gives it more realism. So just a tip to you newer artists, if you're putting in eyes, open eyes for the first time, use blown glass German eyes. Don't use that plastic crap because it just doesn't look good on the babies. They don't look real. And um, try to make their eyes like they're try to make them look like they're looking in a in like one direction and that helps a lot so any way you turn him he looks super cute he just he looks like he's looking at something um it doesn't matter which way you you view him you know you can view him from the front and he's like super adorable and even if he's laying over to one side or the other I love how poseable he is. I'm having fun playing with him. Shirley, I'm gonna play with your baby for a while. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna love on him tonight for his mommy because <laughs> he's so stinking cute. Um, adore this baby, he's so cute. So any way that you look at him, his eyes are just super sweet. You can just, it doesn't matter that he's looking over to one side. It actually looks really good in any direction that you're, you're looking at him. And that's a, a cool way to kind of tell how you should position the eyes. If you um, look at the baby from every aspect and direction, if it looks realistic and they just look so beautiful and big and blue. Um, yeah, you know you've positioned them right if you can look at him from any direction and the eyes look really good. So he's super sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video and um, like I said on the topic of customs, it's it's a big issue right now. A lot of artists are being driven away from doing customs. A lot of us are just kind of painting whatever we want and then putting it out there for sale and whoever's interested in it and interested in buying it, um, you know, it sells. So um, it's just an easier way of doing it uh, at this point in time. So um, if I have people that I've worked closely with um, like Shirley, and I know that she's like a super sweet, just laid back, very patient person and very giving person, kind hearted person. I don't mind working with people like that, um, and bringing to life, um, something that they've dreamed about, a kit that they've been dreaming for. Um, I don't see a lot of this kit out there. I'm really surprised. I don't see a lot of bees. I've never seen this kit before, so I'm sure this would have been a horrible um, kit for her to try to find out there for, with an artist that she loved and an affordable price. So I was really grateful to be able to do that for her. Aren't these little feeties so cute? I love this little pajama outfit. He just looks so perfect with it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that explained a little bit um, about this topic and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the details on this sweet little kit and um right now i know that mcpherson's is sold out of this kit at the moment because i thought about ordering another one because he just turned out so sweet and um they should have some more in so if you're interested in this kit and you have an artist that does do customs grab it up 
He's adorable. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Say bye, baby B. I don't know what his actual name is. I have no idea what she's gonna name him. I'm really curious about that. But he says bye, little one. And good night, guys. Take care of yourselves. And as always, take care of each other. I'll see you on the next video. I dream I know deep up my feelings feel.